Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda. And today we're going to do a little quick video. This is an apple fritter pancake. And it has cane syrup on it. Really delicious. So what I did today, I needed to do a quick thing right quick. So Danny would have a snack. I would have something and I could have something for breakfast. So I took out a recipe from my old cookbook, Cooking Southern Style with Deep South Homestead, and it's for apple fritters. But I didn't want to fry anything exactly. So what I did today, I took my Ninja and I dumped in two thirds of a cup of milk, two eggs, um, half a uh, pint jar of applesauce. Now, you can do fresh apples, you can do apples, I mean, but this is the way I did it today, and I'm using my cookbook, page 33. Um, so I put the milk, eggs, and applesauce in there, and I blend it together in my Ninja. Then I mixed together the flour, the sugar, the baking powder, and the salt. It's one and a half cups of uh, flour. I used um, gluten-free baking flour, a rice brand, rice mix. Um, I put two tablespoons of sugar. It calls for one, but I wouldn't mind a touch sweet. And I put two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt. In the Ninja, I put the eggs, milk, and applesauce. I pulsed it a couple of times and mixed the eggs up in that. Then I added a little of the flour at a time until the flour was ready and mixed up in there. It doesn't take like three, four pulses you're done. Okay, so it, it made it a pancake-y type batter. Then I had a mini muffin pan. It does, I think 24, I'm not sure. 20, it does 20 of the little mini muffins like this. Those are so cute. So that's Danny's snack. He likes to run by, grab something, and keep going. He doesn't want to, a big muffin or something he's got to sit and take time. He wants just to get something and go. So this has the applesauce and very limited ingredients. I didn't put any butter, any oil, anything, because the applesauce takes the place of what you're doing with the butter and the oil. The rest, after I filled those 20 up, became pancakes. Mmm. Y'all, this is great. And the cane syrup, we processed here at Deep South. So we have a playlist with cane syrup and how to make it. That is our go-to for sugar, is cane syrup. Um, if we were in a really bad situation and I could only do with what I had here, I have my chickens for the eggs, I have flour stored, uh, we have sugar stored, we have baking powder and salt stored, then I've got the apples that we've turned into applesauce, plus I can open a jar of apples and add just, it was about a cup. I could add a cup of apples in there. You're blending it, it's gonna mix up. Or you could use fresh apples and just drop them in after you get everything else blended in, you'd have fresh apple chunks in it. But what I did, I got this done. I got the 20 little mini muffins done. I made pancakes for me. I ate one with uh, cream cheese and powdered sugar mix that I mixed up. It was delicious. This one with the cane syrup. The other um, pancakes that it made, I put on a cookie sheet and I froze. In a little while, I'm going to take them out, put them in a Ziploc bag. When Danny and I go to the cabin, I will throw a couple of those little uh, pancakes in there. Next morning, he will throw them in an iron skillet, heat them up, and I'm good to go. I have cane syrup, I have pancakes. Danny has his little snack, the little mini muffins. Y'all, it's a way to go. Using your canned foods, what you have available, and saves you on butter by using applesauce, saves you on oil. So guys, hope you enjoyed a little bit of a tutorial on apple fritters made into pancakes and mini muffins. Thank you from Crazy Days. Mmm, so good.